Welcome to Vblog 46, Business Math, Business 135, Fun with Excel and Math. Hey, we're in Chapter 8 talking about simple interest. And here, we're in the sheet tab called Principal. We're going to find principal given interest, rate, and time. And here's our formulas. What I did is on each one of these sheet tab, I put all the formulas. Interest. There it is. And from this formula, you can create boom, boom, boom. Each one of these, principal, rate, and time. Here's our first example, and we're going to solve for the orange one, principal. Gardenia borrows a principal amount that earns 50 bucks interest for, for the lender. The simple interest rate on the loan is 10%, and the loan is out for 180 days. Find the principal amount. So we're going to use this one, interest divided by rate times time. We've listed our variables here. Let's come on down here. And we're not going to use this in subsequent calculations, so we can just go ahead and interest divided by rate times times. We're going to say equals the interest divided by, oops, I can see I didn't do shift, well, I don't know what I did there. I'm glad I backspace and I can see the blue one in the right place. It should be, oh, that's a question mark, divided by, there it is, open parentheses. And I'm going to take my rate times the time, 80 divided by 365, close parentheses. And you can see that's put it right there also. Look at that, $1,013.89. So I'm going to increase the decimal just to see. Sure enough, it is not, it would not suffice if we... I'm gonna root. If yeah, you can see that's got a big one right there. So if we didn't, if we were gonna use this in subsequent calculations, you can see there's a nine out there. So that's a big extra penny hanging out out there. So I'm gonna decrease this, but this is format will suffice because we're not gonna use subsequent calculations. Hey, but I'm gonna check this. Watch this. I want to make sure that I got this right. So I know that this formula, interest equals principal times rate times time. So I'm going to try it. Equals principal times rate times the time. And I got my fingers crossed. I better get what? 50 bucks. Sure enough, I get 50 bucks. It checks out. All right, hey, let's go try this next one, rate. And you can see I have, again, these formulas on each sheet. I'm going to click on the sheet tab, rate. And here we're going to find the rate given interest, principal, and time. There it is, rate. The turquoise one, interest divided by principal times time. Gardenia borrows 750 bucks and pays $75 interest. If the loan is out for 270 days, find the interest rate. Right, this might actually happen where you, you they say pay this amount and actually there's supposed to be a stated rate. But nevertheless, this could happen reading something about someone else and they oh I paid the interest and uh, the principal amount on this many days and you go hey I can help you out I can tell you what that rate is all right so we listed our variables and we're going to use 365 days so this is exact interest let's go ahead and calculate our rate interest divided by principal times time so I'm going to say equals the interest Divided by an open parentheses, 750, the principal, times the time, 270, divided by 365, close parentheses. So there's that formula right there. Enter. 13.52, and I'm sure that format is helping us out there since we're not going to use it in any subsequent calculations. Actually, the, for this one to check, it's fine to use the unrounded one. But if we're going to add or do anything like that, it would uh, potentially m mess up. But let's go ahead and check and see. Equals interest is principal times rate times time. So I'm going to say principal times rate times the time. And there we go, $75. And it checks out. So there we solved for rate. Let's go and try solving for time. I think we have two examples here. Here, this one, time in years. Interest divided by principal times rate. 
So here's our question. Gardenia borrows 10000 in. Oh, no. D Gardenia deposits 10000 in the saving account at an interest rate of 10%. If she earned $750 interest, how many days did she leave the money in the account? Hey, this is a great question. We're going to assume 360 days for this one. Time in year. So we want to uh, calculate our time. Interest divided by principal times rate. So equals, our interest is 750. I did it again. Divided by, open parentheses, our principal times our rate, close parentheses. Oops, did I do that right? Yes, I did do that right. That's so, 0.75. So we converted time we converted the time here to 0.75, but that's parts of a year. So we need to go to days. So we have to take this times our 360. And again, this is OK. There's a little note here. This is OK to use the unrounded one. We're not rounding to some penny and paying out a penny. We actually, if there's a bunch of extra decimals hanging out here, it will help us when we multiply by our 360. So equals the 0.75 times our 360. And it gives us the number of days, 270. Let's go ahead and check this. Principal times rate times time will give us interest. So equals the principal times the rate times. And we could uh, do this. Oh, well, let's do that. That divided by this. And that will give us our interest. 750. Hey, it checks out. How do you like that? The data from. And, e and each one of these, I actually forgot this. It's getting late tonight, I think. From the data presented, we calculated the time to be 270 days. If we go back to the rate one, of course, from the data presented, we calculated the rate to be 13.52. So I went ahead and just wrote, to write, wrote that down there. The principal, 1,013.89. All right, when we come back to our next V-blog, we'll talk about discounted notes.